right. My question is, uh, I got arrested and charged with three counts of domestic violence, uh, resisting arrest, and uh, destruction of property. All right. The judge went, the judge that was overseeing the charges turned and went to the prosecuting side, which they didn't show up for court, would have been my ex-wife, that was the domestic violence dispute, and wanted to know why uh, she wouldn't show up for court to prosecute me on the domestic violence charge and uh, wouldn't hear the case and made me they drug it out for like three months and she would never because there wasn't no domestic violence and that that's more or less my question is there any legal stance that a judge can't you know can just walk up to somebody and talk to people in public without a lawyer or anything Okay, um, that, 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 that question is a, a, a lot going on in that question. Um, I, I'll start with the, the public, public policy part of it. Domestic violence is a, is a, is a very serious um, crime, and, and, and in this um, climate, um, judges are taking domestic violence very seriously. Um, and saying that, they are making sure that the victims um, or alleged victims have their say in court, that they aren't um, driven off or scared away, and they're trying to do the best to protect the public. Um, when, when you say, can judges talk to a lawyer without another lawyer, I don't know if you're really talking about ex parte communication, so I don't want to go too far with that. But if you're if you're asking if the judge can inquire and ask questions, um, you know, as to where's the victim, why isn't the victim here, um, and make that determination if the if the judge is going to give the prosecution more time to get the the victim there, or or maybe even send a car to go get them. I, I, th I think the, I've seen that happen, and I think the judges are in their purview to do that.